Hello and welcome to my next video. As you guys know, I film in multiples because I don't have a lot of time slash a schedule right now to film and so I tend to film one to three videos at a time and then, you know, upload them so that at different times anyways, so that I have some videos. But anyways, none of that made sense. But we're going to be talking about the Walmart Beauty Box. I almost forgot that I ordered this because it was like, I want to say two or three months ago and they just shipped it out not too long ago and so I got it in the mail and what it is from what I understand is it's a beauty box that Walmart sends out which I had no idea Walmart plus beauty box never put the two together but it comes out I think four times a year one for each of the seasons and it's only five dollars and so five dollars you only get four boxes but for five dollars I mean you really can't go wrong and you get at least one full-size item and then the rest of them are either deluxe sample or more foil type sample sizes which I don't mind some foil packet sizes um, I got a bumble and bumble one one time that was a foil packet size and I absolutely fell in love with it the first time sometimes you get foil packets and you use it and you still don't know if you like it but Walmart Beauty Box kind of looks like this it says Walmart Beauty on there and it has all this fun makeup type stuff on the outside of the box. And then, um, it says L'Oreal on the back. I don't know if L'Oreal is the one that does it. But anyways, and then that's kind of what the inside of the box looks like. And from what I have seen from videos, most of the full-size items that you get, or you get one, and most of them have been lip products that I've seen. And the last two or three have been CoverGirl. So I don't know if that's just a, they partner with that program or what it is. But the one I got this time... <clears throat> is this CoverGirl lip gloss and I want to say the label fell off and oh it, it is so it's one of the colorlicious lip glosses and this is in 640 Juicy Fruit <clears throat> now a couple of things about this lip gloss I bought or tried this lip gloss when it first came out and I bought it in a really bright pink fuchsia shade because for a while there I went through a time where I liked really bright colors lip size whatever and so I bought it because it just looked absolutely stunning it was a very neon pink with glitter it's beautiful and I got it home opened it up tried it on everything about it was terrible texture smell look pigmentation it was the worst of, of everything and so I got this one and I wasn't excited to see this because I remembered the experience I had with the first one nevertheless I opened it up tried it on and was like holy crap this is awesome it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It smells kind of a little bit like a sugar cookie. And the pigmentation, while it is not super pigmented, is pigmented enough that you do see it on your lips. It's a beautiful color. It's just a little bit darker than my lips, and it has a little bit of shimmer, no sparkle. Okay, as mentioned in my previous video, bruised ribs. Sneezing, not good. <clears throat> Tried really hard not to sneeze there. But anyways, this has just an awesome color. Right now on my lips, I'm wearing something that's a little bit orangey red, and so that's why they look a little bit different. But this is pretty much my lip color, but a little bit darker. And it smells good. It looks good. The only slight con I have about this lip gloss is that I have to reapply it quite often. But other than that, it's fantastic. And so I think the first one that I got must have been a bad batch or just a bad lip gloss. I don't know. I probably won't spend the money to go retry it just to make sure. And I don't think I'll buy any more of these, but I do like this particular one. So now that I've gone on for five minutes about one lip gloss, let's go into what's in the rest of the box. So you have two foil packets of hair products, which these are actually really good size. And the first one is L'Oreal, and it's the Color Vibrancy Nourishing Shampoo, Conditioner, and Instant Shock Treatment. Not sure what that is yet, but that's what it looks like. I just had my hair colored, so this is hopefully will be good for my hair. Pretty soon I'll be getting a purple shampoo to kind of take out a little bit of the brassiness on the ends. I'll talk about all of that in another video. This is the next thing I got. And then after that, Considerably smaller, but still really good. Um, John Frieda has one in here that is the Touchably Full Conditioner and Shampoo for Color Treated Hair. Again, just got my hair done. Perfect. And then this, it has... Hmm. Luxurious Styling 
I don't know what this is. So there's this thing on the end. I don't know if it's a product or what. It says there's a coupon on the back, but I think it's a product too. I have no idea. I can't really tell. But anyways, that's what that looks like. Next thing in the box. And then these, I wish they would give me like a little perfume like this instead of giving cards like this because I would have loved to have one of these scents. So there's three cards on here. This is from Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's makeup line. And she's apparently coming out with three perfumes. Cherished, Radiant, and Sultry. And so I'll read the notes for each of these. Cherished is a comforting and nuzzly floral captured in a hug of skin, musks, and powdery notes that surrounds you like a soft cashmere blanket. Radiant is a striking and confident sparkling floral blooming with dewy greens and lush freshness. And then sultry is a sensual oriental floral that wraps you in a seductive trail of creamy florals, alluring spices, and sultry vanilla woods. So when I was reading all of these, automatically my mind said, I'm probably going to like sultry the best because it has vanilla. I was talking about the spices and I was like, that sounds fantastic. But cherished is actually the one that I like the most. Um, I'm going to smell these really quick so that I can kind of relive my experience with these and kind of tell you what I think. So cherished, which is the one with the uh powdery notes and cashmere blanket anyways that's the one that i actually like the most and these cards are really hard to get off here but yeah it just has a very soft scent to it almost like very slight baby powder kind of soft and it just i don't know i could see me wearing this during the day i could see me wearing it at night it's just an all day everywhere kind of scent and sultry is the one that i thought i would like but I think it ended up being more overpowering. Yeah, see, Sultry, Sultry has almost an old lady scent to it. And it's really strong, just really strong floral. Some people like that. I hate floral scents. And so to me, that was just too over the top. And then Radiant, I can't remember. Radiant is okay. Radiant definitely has a fresh, almost like um, Irish Springs or soap kind of scent to it. Not appealing to me, some people might like that. I personally would recommend Cherished when the line comes out, if these aren't too overly expensive, I think I will pick up Cherished because I do like it a lot and I could see myself wearing it all the time. It has a sweet, soft scent to it that I just really like. Um, but I wish they had sent me an actual little sample of it, but oh well. And then I got two deluxe size sample things here. This one is coming open. But it is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion Sheer Hydration. I think I've tried this before. Aveeno makes fantastic products. This is a really good size. Perfect for throwing in your purse because I don't like taking huge lotions in my purse for one. And two, I never go through them that fast. After a while, I get tired of them. This is a perfect size. And then this is a Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. I'm really glad that it is in a big enough container that I can get a few uses out of it to see how I like it. Um, and Dove also makes really great products. So... And then the last thing that I got in here, besides a little card that says, hum -na, hum -na, um, it's just basically telling you about their social media and stuff. And then you have the you know tissue paper in the bottom of the box, but the last thing that I got was actually pretty exciting. It's the Burt Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes with white tea extract. You get 10 of them. So it's either perfect for travel, if you travel a lot, I don't really travel a lot, and so I might throw these in my purse or I might just use them in the mornings, but I love face wipes. I adore face wipes. My favorite are the Neutrogena ones. I'm always looking to try new ones, so this is a really great thing for me because I don't like using, you know, anything else other than makeup remover wipes to, make, to take off my makeup, mostly because I'm lazy, but also because I just like doing it that way. It's less messy to me, it's easy, it's quick, and again, I'm lazy, so. That's pretty much it. So for that was it for my Walmart beauty box. I won't get another one, I think, probably until the spring. Like I said, you only get four. They send you an email when it's being sent out again. So it'll probably be, be another three to four months before I get one. But that one was the winter edition, which I do like. It has a lot of products that I feel like I will use and are perfect for me right now. Like I said, most of the hair products are for color treated hair. And I just got my hair done. So really nice. So that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. I have no idea what it is yet because this year I am taking things one day at a time and I'll talk about that in a later video. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.